Hey everyone, it's April 21st and it's time for my week sketchbook review. This is take two because my cats decided to be stupid outside my door and they got into a screaming match and it sounded through like ridiculously well. And then of course the husband decided to chase after them and that sounded through really well and I guess that's just what happens when you have to live in a small house with a lot of animals and a husband. So this is where we left off last week with a uh, cherry in her floofy dress and she's spinning around and having fun in it. I kind of finished it up and filled it out a little bit. I don't exactly remember where I ended it last week, like how much had been drawn, but I think I didn't have the arms completely finished. But like, I kind of gave them like a fun little, you know, yay, sort of look to them. But yeah, I don't think I'm gonna finish it after this point. I just had my fun and whatever. And I went ahead and I put her in a kneeling pose in the same dress, but kind of got lazy with it and then it kind of lost interest in it. So just a quick doodle and then I moved on from there. And this is my sorry attempt at Leela from Futurama. And it's pretty hideous. I can't draw Cyclopses. Clops eye, whatever. Uh, and then there's Cherry. I, actually, I saw this pair of boots I really, really, really wanted to buy online but I'm trying to curve my spending right now because I've still got a little over six months of nursing school left in tuition I just paid and blah 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 so I didn't buy them so I figured I saved the picture because I wanted to at least draw them in something so I started to kind of sketch out an idea here and I just never kind of flushed it out I just left it at this just because like I wasn't really all that pleased with the pose or anything but yeah it's it's cool it's a doodle. Okay, and then I started in with, um, well, I've been wanting to draw Disney princesses pretty much all month, and I've just kind of been dragging my feet on it because I couldn't find my How to Draw a Disney Princess book. And I finally found it, but then I never even used it to reference to, so whatever. But I started drawing Jasmine here, and I'm not happy with this one. I think that the eyes are down too low. I think that if everything, like, aside from the nose, if the eyes and the eyebrows were moved up a bit, it'd actually be a better picture. Um, then I drew Louise from Bob's Burgers, because she's, like, my spirit animal. I love her. And then I drew this girl, and she's at a weird angle, because when I was drawing it, I had my head down. And I was looking at it from um, a slanted angle, like, I don't even know what angle it was. I just had my paper out and I was drawing. I wasn't in a good mood. I was actually pretty sad, so I just decided to start drawing and I didn't really care how it turned out. And then I have this whole page here. Oh wait, I did give him a name, yeah. And uh, his name is now officially Jasper, I think. Anyway, so I've got Cherry and Jasper here, and she's complaining about not feeling good. And then he's like, well, are you going to puke? Because, you know, that's like the number one question you're going to ask somebody if they're not feeling good. And he, she thinks it's mean, and he's kind of explaining that he's not mean. He's just, you know, making a point that uh, she kind of snuck into his apartment without his permission and kind of made herself at home, and she's sick. And, yeah. And then she turns on the waterworks, and he doesn't like it, because that's like the only thing that works against him is her waterworks. And I've pretty much decided that these two are going to be a couple, and I think I'm going to finish this picture. I, yeah, I, I've kind of glanced at it from the other side. Um, her torso needs to be shortened by quite a bit, so that way his hands are more on her hips. Um, but other than that, like... I like this chemistry, like this dynamic, like he's clearly looking at her and like is pointing like a whole, the whole con, the whole composition is aiming towards her and her whole composition is embracing of his. So it makes a really nice circle and that just makes me so happy. And then you have another complete circle right here and that just makes me happy. And yeah, just overall it's an amazingly good composition for me because normally I don't pay close attention to my compositions. I just draw what I feel like drawing and if it turns out good, it turns out good and I'm happy but this turned out really nice and I'm debating on finishing it. And that's just, it was gonna be cheery and she was gonna be chewing on something with her mouth full and I just eh, moved on. Yeah. And I wanted to draw Happy Cherry with her little fingers on her cheeks going tee and having fun and 
I don't know, there's something, I think the eyes are too big. I think it's kind of giving her a more childish look than I typically would draw her in. And this ear, obviously, is way too small, but yeah, <sighs> whatever. And then I drew Phobos from Witch. Because actually, of all the villains, Phobos is like my favorite. And it's not just because he's badass and he's the bad guy. I actually like his actual character because he's not like one of those good guys or bad guys that ends up reverting. He's like one of those bad guys that stays bad and thinks that he keeps getting the upper hand. And then he just keeps getting slammed down and then he thinks he has the upper hand. And I just think it's a good character. Like, he, he's like, oh, I'll help you, but I'm going to screw you over. And it's like, I like consistent character behaviors with development because he gets trickier as he goes along and i know in the comic i think he ultimately disappears they throw him into like some endless vortex or something like that and i think in the cartoon he got tossed into a prison and that's where he stayed and was let out and then put back in but whatever doesn't matter and then i was gonna draw um hey lynn and then i kind of got bored with it and again i wasn't in the best of moods so Rather, I, you know, I see I erased a lot around her mouth just trying to figure it out. So rather than get frustrated or anything like that, I just drew what I could and then I moved on. Because there's no sense in getting upset over a drawing. I was already upset over it. Thanks. Uh, Tinkerbell. I drew Tinkerbell. I've actually never drawn Tinkerbell before. I'm not sure how I feel about this one. I don't think I really like it that much. Um, I think I just kind of squished the pose in and I didn't plan it out well enough. I just kind of made it up as I went along. And this was going to be another concept of Tinkerbell and I just never finished it. So like I like the head and the face. I think that those turned out really nice. I think that the shoulder angle works. It's it's a little forced but it works. And I think all the way up until this point right here it works. And then I threw in legs and I was like oh these legs aren't necessarily going to make sense. So I just kind of left it at that and I was like whatever you know as long as I'm drawing I don't care so much that um it's not perfect as long as I'm drawing yeah and then I got this idea I I was thinking about Game of Thrones because season four or five no I haven't seen season four seems season five came out and um I haven't seen either one and I was thinking it's like oh but I like the Dothraki the whole Dothraki Dothraki, Dothraki, whatever. I have to rrr my tongue when I do it. Um, I like the whole concept, but really, 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 I love Daenerys's outfits. And she had this blue one that kind of, um, I styled this, it's not exactly styled after, but it kind of had like, not shoulder pads, but like shoulder armor. Like it was, there was a leather um, collar and shoulders and it came down and then it came into like a dress and yeah, yeah, yada, yada. But I really liked that concept of her clothing. So I decided to go ahead and touch, I, you know, I, the only thing I was drawing successfully was cherry. So I was like, all right, fine, whatever. I'm throwing cherry in some uh, Daenerys clothing. And I decided to, you know, have more fun with it and make her the mother of dragonflies because I just figured, you know, Daenerys Stormborn is the mother of dragons and blah, 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 blah. And I figured we'd go ahead and just kind of play off of that. And then I decided to give the dragonfly a personality. And he's like, hi, mama. I'm a hungry baby. She's like, good job, you bum. Because I know that in, like, uh, not Lord of the Rings, in Game of Thrones, um, she fed the dragons herself and if y'all don't haven't read the books you probably don't know what I mean uh they don't start off on meat but that's kind of what I'm making fun of here is like he wants to be fed by his mama and she's like uh-uh but really dragonflies dragonflies like nectar so she has no nectar he has to go get it himself but i thought that this dragonfly turned out kind of waspish and then like this dragonfly was like a dork but i was just playing around and it made me smile to do it husband is just being as loud as he can out there it's so annoying all right and then a page of piper well jade and piper jade 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 piper so i don't know i was doing some swirly hair things speaking of Jade and Piper and Swirly Hair. I'm sending out a quick thank you to Bing Clasby for the fan art. I had no idea she even sent it. So I don't know if um, 
she saw the fan art I did for her a couple weeks uh, into my um, sketchbook reviews or not. But um, I'll just say that for now. I, I did the fan art for her not knowing if she for sure when she had done the fan art for me. It wasn't in response to the fan art. I honestly was just drawing her character for funsies. Um, but like super 110% thank you. I don't get very much fan art at all. I mean I get a little bit here and there. But um, it's not like... I don't know. I'm just very appreciative of any fan art that I get of my characters and my OCs because I'm not very well known. So I totally dig it and I love them and they're so dynamic and flowy and she's always like putting Piper in all these like wonderful cute clothes that are airy and they actually match her personality very well. Like part of her personality, her, her base personality and then like in her criminal persona um, she's not like flowy or anything. She's actually like more hardcore. She's like, yeah, let's get down and dirty sort of thing. But whatever. I appreciate it either way. And I'm like super, super happy. It totally made my day. I was like, oh my god. I was sitting there just freaking out. And I made sure to like and reblog it as soon. Like I found out about it today, the 21st. So it's been almost a month since it's actually been put up. So I did like him and reblog it. And if you guys are on my Tumblr, please reblog her stuff. Go check her out. If you're on my DeviantArt, please go check out her stuff. She's awesome. She's very nice and she's very giving and I love her. And well, yeah, it's weird to say I love her, but like, it's cool. She understands what I mean. I hope. <laughs> it's not like I'm going to marry you, but like total art love appreciation. Anyway, so I got her, like, um, I was actually, I think I was thinking about Sailor Moon at the time, like the old introduction, um, the old Sailor Moon intro art where she's Princess Serenity and she's looking up at the moon and then she like do, does that turn and that camera pan in and that wind's like blowing her hair and stuff. I think that's what I was, see, as specific as I am, I'm really thinking that's exactly what I was thinking of, but that was kind of like... See, the body, like, the torso's over here, the head's over here. See, and I do that all the time. They're not centered. <sighs> but, whatever. So, I doodled that. And then I just kind of did a pan in on the face. And then this was just, um, drawing Jade being cute and whatever. And then I was trying to do more generic everyday poses with her. Of, like, she's pulling back her hair in, like, a clip or something. And, um... Yeah, this is totally messed up. Her shoulders should be way out here. Her her neck should be here. But see, seeing all of this now, like I drew this a couple days ago. So seeing it all now, of course, I see all these changes I can make. All right, let's get into the real business. This is stuff I was working on last night. Is I had this idea for Dothraki, Dothraki uh, Disney princesses. And of course, I'm like, yes, this must be done. So I did a few. And I've got Jasmine, because Jasmine, like, when you look at the the races that they used to represent the Dothraki, Jasmine uh, kind of fits the bill. Jasmine, Pocahontas, uh, obviously they're women of color, which is fine. So I was, like, happy to have Disney princesses that I could actually utilize. But I did utilize other Disney princesses in it, too. But, like, I've got, um, I have Jasmine here. And, like, I came up with this whole, like, uh, hair tuck. Because I seen this, I see this with the girls at nursing is, um, we're not allowed to have our hair touch our shoulders at all. So they'll wear a headband, like, like something like this. And then they'll tuck strands of hair into the back. And what they usually do is they keep tucking and they just kind of make, like, this little round thing here of, uh, hair. And it's actually really cute. And when you take it out, your hair is super curly. But what I just decided to do was tuck the two strands and pull them straight down and then start making braids all the way down and then to bind those braids as they go down. And I imagine her as kind of like a horse trainer or because she's very strong willed and you kind of have to be strong willed in order to work with horses and you have to be you have to be strong and you have to be patient and all this stuff and Jasmine just kind of fit the bill for that. And I kept true to like her blue gem and her earrings. I got rid of her necklace because that didn't make sense. But I did put in an armband. And I just felt like a leather armor shoulder pad would work. And then I tried to keep as true to her original clothing as possible. Because it's already kind of um, the cut style that the Thraki women wear. And then I did a back shot here just to kind of see how it made sense. 
So that's Dothra Dothra Dothraki Jasmine. Yeah. The hands are huge and ridiculous, but again, it was just a sketch. And then I went into doing, I decided that Ariel would be a part of it. Now, Ariel, when I was doing her, I was thinking two things. I was thinking of um, more of a um, Celtic or Celtic or whatever you want to call it, the women, and how they joined their men in battle and all this stuff, and they were very strong-willed. Not necessarily strong-willed, but they fought alongside their men instead of just kind of letting them off go off to battle and since she's a redhead of course she fits in but then when I got to I was thinking all right pigtails and the Dothraki always have the braids so I always incorporate a braid in there somewhere and then I really really got to thinking about it. I was like oh my god she looks like a Yami from Inuyasha I was like no that was not my intention but it's okay because this probably will never see past a sketch phase. But I kind of gave her like a darker around. Because she's fair haired and fair skin. I figured we would add more darker makeups to her. I did the star pattern. And initially it was going to be a hand print. But I changed it to a star pattern. Just to kind of give her the under the sea feel. I gave her a little shell necklace. That like maybe a suitor or something gave her. Kept true to her just wearing the bustier. And I made it leather. And then I was working on some sort of a cross skirt thing to come down and then leather pants underneath of it. And I decided that she would be some sort of a tracker because she's always exploring and everything in the cartoon. And then I did like a side view to kind of explain that, you know, her hair hangs down and then it comes back into like these wild pony or er, pigtails of cuteness. And then I decided to do Belle too, just because Belle's like one of my favorite princesses. Um... Her head's a little cattywampus, but whatever. Um, I decided that with her, I would keep the original pulls here. And then this right here, back here, is actually supposed to be like a braided cord of like, it would probably be like a dingy yellow color because none of them would have like bright colors at all. It would just be like dingy leather colors. And she's got her hair balled up, but it um, comes up from behind in braids. And then it gets like balled up into this bun. And I have one stray strand here that's kind of dreaded. And I just kind of gave her markings because I wanted her marked differently than everybody else because I've decided that she's going to be like, because she likes to read and everything. And she tends to be very diplomatic in her approach to things initially, and then she'll lose her temper. But initially she tries to be very diplomatic, even if she is a bit childish from time to time. But she does adjust and adapt. So I decided to kind of make her more of a diplomatic person, but they don't really have diplomacy in Dothraki. They have like, you do what I say or I'm going to kill you and eat your horse sort of mentality or take your horse. But I just figured she would be a little bit different because she is technically different compared to her cohorts in the town that she lives in. So that's the direction I went with Belle. And then I started a Mulan, and then I realized, like, her face should be moved over. <laughs> like, the whole thing is too close to the edge there. But with Mulan, um, she already has a very, in my opinion, Dothraki approach to things. Like, she learned how, I mean, she's very feminine and everything, don't get me wrong, but she does learn to fight, and she does take up a more masculine role because it's required of her. And I figured that she's probably that, but I kind of give, like, signs, like, this little dread here just to kind of imply that she's very like she still has a feminine side and then this um it's gonna be I think a porcelain flower or something like that that she turned into a necklace so like there's gonna be signs or whatever of her femininity but overall she's I have decided she's gonna be a fighter and of course I had to throw Mushu in there like updated Mushu or whatever yeah, I was just being silly. I just, I figured I needed something else on this page with Mulan. And it was either Cricky or Mushu. So I went with Mushu. Now granted, in, in, you know, Game of Thrones, there's only three dragons and they're Daenerys's. As far as I know. Don't ruin it for me. But I figured whatever. This isn't supposed to be true to, like, Game of Thrones lore. I'm just kind of borrowing the thing, the race. And then my last picture for this week is of Carmine and Scarlet, which is funny because Carmine is a type of red and Scarlet is a type of red. So they should like be totally buddies. And I figure it's like one of those scenes where Carmine's having a bad day 
and he's at the bar to get a drink or something and of course Scarlett's going to be there and I just figured that she would kind of slink her way over and notice that because you know if there's one thing that she can do is she can notice when people are having a bad day so I imagine that she just kind of approached someone like that and offered to buy them a drink because you know what guy's going to turn down a free drink from an awesome looking babe maybe he would but I don't know anyway I was just thinking about this because um Vermint's had earlier in the week I think not earlier in the week but um and it was a message that he had sent me a long time ago and I just didn't get it um he had done some fan art of these two together before and I kind of liked the idea and because their names are a type of red I'm like yes oh my god I didn't even know ah so I got really excited when I was doing this and I was just trying to calm myself down. I'm like, it's okay. Breathe. You had your fun. Now be mature and draw the picture. So I did. But that is the end of this week's sketches. I did quite a few this week and I'm hoping to do more. I have my final exam next week, so I'm going to be dedicating quite a bit of time to studying this week and this weekend. I have a study group on Friday, an extra one, um, and I'm going to possibly, maybe, depending on if I get invited or not, go down and visit the Disney store. Um, I have a classmate that lives down in that direction, so we'll see. Um, I just finished my HESI this morning and I passed with a 941 and the national average is like a 837. So I did better than the national average and I actually scored myself two bonus points by passing that well. So I got two points for sitting down and taking the test and I got two extra credit points on top of that. So that's definitely going to help out my um it's definitely going to help out my final score because I'd like to grad or you know get through this semester with a 4.0 and I'm like right on the verge of a 91%. And if I at least get an 86 or something like that on the final exam, I'll be able to pass this semester with my first 4.0 ever in nursing school, which is funny because like everyone told me that this was the hardest class of nursing school and I was like no it's not that bad and I'm doing pretty well so I understand some people struggle with some things and other people struggle with others I seem to be the one who struggles with all the simple basic concepts but for some reason like the harder you know more abstract concepts I get so I guess I'm just broken but anyway if you liked what you saw go ahead and like and subscribe and comment um you know just you know let me know if you guys are enjoying this i mean I'm, I'm keeping up with it and feedback is always appreciated um i'm still looking into doing some stuff live i think i'm gonna have to order a webcam but i'm really hesitant to do it because it's more money and i just don't know but um yeah go ahead like and subscribe and uh let me know what you think and thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next week